What's up, everybody, on this edition of Longhorn Diaries? I'm going to catch you up on all the stats month to date for August 2018. Hi, this is Travis Harlick with Remax Real Estate and Travis Harlick and Associates. And this is Longhorn Diaries. We'll be bringing you everything you need to know about the real estate world, all from the cab of my truck. Alrighty, so let's get things kicked off here for month to date stats. And today is Thursday, August 30th already. I can't believe this summer has flown by. So let's get started with the single family home market in Spruce Grove. So in August, it reflected just over five and a half months supply of inventory that's out there. There's 284 active listings on the market right now uh, with a median list price of 359,000. And so far month to date, there has been 50 sales. Uh, with a median sale price of 366000 In the condo market, there's just over six and a half months of supply with eight sales and 53 active listings that are on the market. The average sale price, or sorry, the median sale price for condos are 247000 and the median list price of condos in Spruce Grove right now is right around the $235,000 mark. Let's move west to Stony Plain. Right now in the single family market, believe it or not, there's over 13 months of supply. Uh, that's due to 187 active listings with 14 single family sales in Stony Plain in the month of August. The median average list price is 375,000 and the median sale price is 340,000. In the Stony Plain condo market, there's approximately 10 and a half months supply of inventory. That's due to 42 active listings that are reported as we talk today, with four sales reported in all of the month of August, with a median sale price of 176,000, and the median active list price is 212,000. In Parkland County and country residential sector, there's just over eight and a half months of supply uh, of inventory on the market. There's 379 active listings right now with a median asking price of just under $600,000. And there's been 44 sales in the month of August with a median sale price of $482,000. With vacant land in rural Parkland County, currently there's 25 months of supplies uh, out there right now because of 231 active listings and only nine sales of vacant land reported in the county. Um, the nine sales we're selling right around that $330,000 mark. And out of all the 231 actives that are on the market right now in the county, the median list price is about $240,000. Let's head east all the way into Edmonton for the most up-to-date stats for the month of August. Uh, right now, there's just over six and a half months of supply for single family homes because there's 4,696 actives. There was 716 sales reported in the month of August with a median sale price, or sorry, median active price of 380,000 approximately. In the condo sector, there was 298 sales reported in August with a $224,000 median sale price. And there's currently right now 2,901 active listings, which equals just over nine and a half months of supply uh, for the condo sector in Edmonton. So overall, what I'm starting to see is a little bit more activity. And by activity, I mean people out and about shopping around and starting to write some offers. This is typical of this time of year, just because people now want to make a decision on a home so they can move in before the snow comes. Yes, I said the word snow, but believe it or not, this weekend is September already. All right, thanks for tuning in on this edition of Longhorn Diaries. If you would like for me to get a little bit more specific, where it's more applicable to you and your family's real estate goals and dreams, just send me a private message. I'd be more than happy to dig up some more statistics for you and let you know where everything is at for you and your family. Thanks for watching. Residential, there's currently just over eight and a hundred. <laughs>